and so he actually had cameras waiting for him. What yeah. the fuck? Wow. I've seen every documentary on Barry Sanders that there is to see, and I've never walked away feeling like I knew why he walked away. Yeah. Hey. Who catch lightning in the bottle? Set fire to water, coming out the nozzle on the fire hose, flying and swatting. Still to this day, everybody talks about him. He's the greatest running back to ever play the game. And I know that he walked away at a time when he could have broken every single record there ever was and ever will be. So, why did he walk away? Catch the lightning, he struck it. Scream, son of it, thundered and flipped the world upside down. And made it rain upward. Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man. You know, I don't take that question lightly. It's really hard to explain. He's the shit right now. He's Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man. It just made him so much more likable. The fact that he was that good. I've never seen somebody be that good at something and be so humble. I think probably because he knew, I don't have to say this, you know, you can, you have, you can see. I don't want to speak down about Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith was amazing, right? Um, but he had a team. If we had a team like the Cowboys had and we had Barry, fuck. We'd have been unstoppable. Sometimes I, 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 I still see it when I sleep. Every time he got the ball, it was like, he's going to score a touchdown. I mean, that's how it felt. And the give to Barry Sanders. Cut back over the middle of the 15. Breaks a tackle to the 10. Barry to the 5. Touchdown! There will be plays where, like, 10 guys jumped on him. Barry Sanders. And you're like, oh, he's down. And all of a sudden, he comes shooting out from the pile. He breaks it. Sometimes there are individuals that come along, superlatives just don't fit. Like, what the fuck? Who can catch lightning in the bottle? Set fire to water, coming out the nozzle on the fire hose, fly it and swatters. Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man, Cinderella man. Smash an hourglass, grab the sand, take his hands and cup them, spit around the freezer clock, take the hands and... It was literally like watching a video game. The way he improvised on so many plays and was able to take it all away. With the central Barry Sanders. You know, that's what that's what endears us. And it's not even all those plays. It's some of the plays where he might have just gained a yard, but he dodged 10 players. You know, those are some of the greats. You know, behind the line of scrimmage, he get the ball, ah, they be right there on him. Running 40 yards to get three yards. Barry will reverse his field. And he's running back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kept saying they'd never seen anybody like him. And I agree. I mean, for this second, he's here, and then a thousand one, he's not here anymore. He's over there, and you're tackling air. Watch what he, well, he just put a move on Reggie White. Unbelievable. He could go from here to over there, like, don't even get a finger on it. I think sometimes you just have to look at something and just enjoy it. I mean, there's no one else in football that can make these moves. When God created Barry Sanders, even he didn't know what he made. Who's the big loser in this Barry Sanders fiasco? Undoubtedly, it's the fans. Tears. Devastation. Like literal. Like literal fucking devastation. What the F are you doing? We'll never see somebody like Barry Sanders again. Never. We had the greatest running back that ever played the game.